Tell me one thing about the upcoming series you haven't told anyone else yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have you read it all? I've read it all and it's really good. Hello, I'm Amy. And I am Nicola and today we're interviewing each other about our new film, Seize Them. Just remember, my shoes made amazing fart noise. Fart? Shoe fart? <laughs> I, but I had the rare like luck of being able to do it again. Cause you know what I was doing? It was my shoe! Yeah, was then my you shoe. try and do it again and they're all like, yeah, sure. Shoe fart, shoe fart. <laughs> Nicola, can you remember when we first met and what was your first impression of me? I was like a fan of yours because I loved you. I thought you were, when I watched Sex Education, I was like, that girl's really special, really special. You just have a magnetic presence on screen. Mm -hmm. And I'm not surprised that you're getting every single job in the world because you deserve it because you're amazing. Thank when you. did I first meet you? When did we first meet? I can't remember. I feel like I was at a party maybe or something. Was it? We, uh, uh, when was it? I don't know, but I just, I really loved you, but didn't want to be like uncool about how much I loved you. Yeah, but then you. I told you that I loved you. Yeah, made it better. Yeah. I don't know, well, we, neither of us remember, which is we nice. We don't remember, but I just but remember was, saying you were great. Yeah, I just thought, I just thought you were amazing. So yeah. when this film came through and they were like, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do let's it. Go, let's go, let's do it together. Let's do this. <laughs> Go on this I really journey. want to remember now. That's going to really bug me. I really can't remember. Did we message each other on Instagram? Yeah, could have been that, you know. I think we and so then maybe then at the BAFTAs, I felt like I knew you because that was the COVID BAFTAs. That was yeah. the most fun BAFTAs. It was because it was not that many people there, yeah. and you won, and it was amazing. It was a very small party afterwards, and we were like the wildest two at that party, I would say. Yeah. But it was very fun. Yeah, it was. Fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll say no more. We'll say no more. We'll say no more. <laughs> Amy, your mm. character suffers the indignity of becoming a shit shoveler during the film. But what is the worst job you've ever had? I don't want to be mean, but I found Freddie's flowers very taxing. Were you a flower? You, you, did I you... did Freddie's flowers. What? You know, when those people that stand on the street with the bike that's covered in flowers and they're like, hey, can I talk to you for a oh, sec? Oh no, no. Hey, would you like to subscribe to our flower system? Oh no. Where you get flowers every week. I was so bad at it. It was <laughs> awful. Like it was, it was genuinely like, I, I didn't make one, I don't think, and it's all commissioned. Oh, no. And I didn't make one thing. And it, you'd be stood out in the rain and, and some people were so good at it. Like they'd have, yeah people signing yeah. up left, right and centre. Do you know what I think I'm it is? One I think you're too honest and kind because you probably know that's going to be a pain in the arse for them. You probably instinctively didn't really want them to do it. So they probably read that from you. Yeah, I feel like I just didn't try. I think like, they, came, they came over and they'd be like, oh, I don't think so. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. And people who would be partnered with would be like, you're not meant to just go okay. You're meant to go, well, seriously, it's a good opportunity. And I'd be like, I can't, I can't. No, I don't no, have it don't want to lie. Afraid. It was just a bit of a humiliating experience. That kind of stuff, dealing with the public is really hard. It's hard. I had so I... many customer service jobs, and people just hate you. For, people just think like, actors you... are really good at it. <gasps> An extension cord fell out of the roof. <laughs> Freddie Sarah's, they've come to get you. I once, I once had a job that I don't think I told anyone about because it was only for a night. Yeah. But like, I was 17. Was for a night. Yeah, because it was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was basically, it was like a promo job in pubs. But I had to, this sounds like I'm making this up when I swear to God I'm not. You, it, was, it was a suit that had a video game on the back. It was like for a beer company and you had to play the game. It was like a skiing game. And then it printed out a ticket and you got a free beer. Sorry, this suit sounds incredible. Yeah, I feel like this is fever dream. This, this is a thing that happened to me and my friend did it as well. I was gonna be like, Maeve, do you remember? I feel like I need this memory legitimized. But then the rep from the beer company came and saw me and I looked really young. I looked about 12 even though yeah. I was 17 and he was like, she can't do this anymore and I got fired. <laughs> Did you have to walk out wearing the suit? Or yeah, it was awful and it was really heavy and I was yeah, like it super was. tiny. Like I yeah. was, yeah. And you were walking down the street <laughs> dressed as a I was in a game. pub and I was like drunk people. It was just <laughs> like an insane. That does sound like a dream that you've had after eating cheese. <laughs> Who knows if it really happened or not? Who knows? We'll, we'll all wonder. It sounds like it would be in like a, a, a noughties indie rom-com. I know, I just have to write it. Actually, that, I should have been told I should have saved have it and that. written it in something. Yeah. Damn it. I know. But no one will believe it's true. And then you'd meet the love interest. Maybe I know, like, right? Hey, nice. Hey, what are you doing here, Jeremy Allen White? Yeah. Why? What? Yeah. Jeremy Allen White? <laughs> Jeremy White, do you want a free beer? Yeah. Do you like skiing based video games on humans? He's like, I do. <laughs> yeah, oh, great. Yeah, this is good. We should write this. If this is happening. Things are happening yeah. in this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so much better than Freddie's flowers. 
There are quite a few medieval insults thrown about in Seize Them. Do you have a favourite from the film or a favourite insult in real life? Oh, my nephew. How old I'm gonna, is nephew? He's seven. Seven, it's going to be great. One of his quite harsh ones is, I hate your face. That'll, that'll really cut you. Just when he's really tired, he has no like, I hate your face. Ooh. Um, my friend's little sister, when she was small, called someone an effing cheese flip. Wow. That was a good one. That's really good. But yeah, kid-based insults are... Oh, Dirk! That's what it is. He calls people Dirks. Oh, you Dirk. Wow. Yeah, but you it just like... You some of these in the film. Yeah, you Dirk. Stop being a Dirk. Yeah. So my sister and I now use it all the time, but Dirk. There we go. I love that. What's your favourite insult? Well, I get to say quite a lot. You do. insults. Yeah. But I actually think that any, and anything to do with poo. Yeah, yeah, anything yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything to yeah. do with poo. I think there was one point where it was poo gobblers. I like when I'm saying she poos in your wells and you, she, she doesn't do that. Do that. <laughs> that's, I think that's my favourite bit. She's done poos in your wells. <laughs> she doesn't do that. Uh, queen Dagon is a bit useless as a queen. It's written here, I didn't. Sorry. It says no offence. What's one thing you're just absolutely terrible at? Driving. Can you I drive? I can't drive. No. I also Thank can't drive. God. By the way, I'm terrible yeah. and I, I'm not allowed on the roads. But yeah, really like. Did it. you try and learn? Mm -hmm. it, to the point where the driving instructor was like, "Wow." Yeah, I had a similar wow. experience. I stalled in a roundabout, and he went, "What are you gonna do now?" And shouting at me is the least way to ever get me to do something. Yeah, so I was like, course. I'm leaving this car. I am never returning. And I will be a passenger princess. Yes. Yeah. I want to try again. But like, it's my dad's go-to thing. Yeah. Like, it'll be like, you know, someone will be like, oh, Aim, she'd be great in that film. My dad will go, yeah, well, she's not good at driving, though. <laughs> so it's been drilled into me how bad I am at driving. So yeah. I, need to, I need to rewrite this story. So we'll get cast in that Formula One film together. It's fine, they'll I just put it. us on the green screen. Yeah, exactly. Can we do it here, like this? And then just we'll yeah. put it in. Yeah. That's not, you don't do that with your legs. Clearly, clearly I can't yeah. drive. Is yeah. this how you drive a this car? Is a, yeah. In the film, our characters challenge each other to combat. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically, who would win in a fight between the cast of Sex Education and the cast of Bridgerton? That's a really good question. I think the Sex Education could be more scrappy. I feel I like think. they'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'd be scrappy. Also, yeah. we'd be in corsets and yeah, stuff. You would. Corsets and wigs and. You would. But then, what's Simone Ashley going to do? She's on both. She's punching everyone. Yeah, what's Simone gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I know. Which side is she on? I know. Ooh, yeah. juicy. Yeah. But yeah, I think the sex ed brunch would be quite... I think so. And Shooty's got some serious muscles. Yeah. Like, God, he's a beautiful man, isn't mm -hmm. he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. So I'm gonna give it to you guys. Thanks. Uh, yeah, but Bridget, they put, you know, but they put in the effort, but ultimately, a real... we're not gonna do yeah. it. Amy, you were recently cast in the new season of The White Lotus! I'm so excited about that. No doubt you've been sworn to secrecy, but as your friend and scene partner, I'm sure you'll definitely make an exception for me. Mm -hmm. Tell me one thing about the upcoming series you haven't told anyone else yet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Have you read it all? I don't think I'm allowed. Have you read it? Anything? I have signed so many yeah. things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've read it all and it's really good. I hope you don't die. That's just what I'm gonna say. I just don't want them to kill you. He's very brave with that, Mike White. He'll just he kill just does it like a great character, and I think that is really bold. Oh, oh, oh! I know what I could ask you that, that it wouldn't be spoilery. Okay. Did you read a line of yours? That you were like, that's gonna be an iconic line. Like these gays are trying to kill me. Do you have? She has some great lines. Oh, I'm really so excited to watch it. But it's it? kind of, I would just say it's thing, lots of them are things that I have said in real life. So she's like you, the character? A bit, yes. I'm f absolutely thrilled by this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The new season of Bridgerton will focus on your character's romance with Colin Bridgerton. Yes. No doubt you have also been sworn to secrecy. But as your friend and scene partner, oh. I'm sure you'll make an exception for me too. Tell me one thing about the upcoming series that you haven't told anyone else. I don't know if it's exact, but I always wear like, massive joggers under my dresses because it's really yeah. freezing cold so we're shooting the most romantic scene in the world and i'll fully have joggers and uggs on i love that yeah i love that but also this is changing my mind about the fight because if you all do yeah that, but then who's you gonna fight in a pair of old boots do you know what i mean but yeah, more, fly in someone's flex, face there's more flexibility if you just ripped them off take that to eat the ready. Juice. yeah exactly yeah that's that's a nice little that's fact a nice to know. one so when i watch it i'll be like oh. you're like oh she was cozy she was cozy she's a cozy lady Quite right. All right, final question. Yeah. Ask me anything. Now is your time to ask me something you've been dying to know my answer to. It can be absolutely anything. I thought it said it can be absolutely amazing. <laughs> no pressure. No it can pressure be anything. There. What's your moon sign again? Sun, Capricorn. Yeah. Moon, Taurus. Rising, Aquarius, like you. Oh yeah, I remember the Aquarius rising. Yeah, 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 I yeah. remember the moon. 
got that double earth. Mm, 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 mm. Capricorn, Sun, and Taurus Moon. Yeah. Wow. But then when I felt, because I never felt very Capricorn y. Yeah. And then I was like, with those two, I was like, because the Taurus is very determined. I would say I'm very determined. You are. And the very Aquarius. Determined. These, the artistic bit, the acting bit. And yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. What's yours? But actually, Capricorns, yeah. lots of actors of our generation are Capricorn. And yeah. Someone explain this to me is because I think Neptune or something in our generation is in Capricorn, which means that that's apparently why there are so many actors that are Capricorn of our generation. Is it? Yeah. Apparently. And also, Capricorns don't mess around, and I think we take work seriously. They so we do don't like not mess don't like around. messing, don't like people behaving bad on set. Yeah. They're just like mm, 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 Capricorns mm, mm. are driven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Driven. Ooh. I'm a Scorpio moon. Are you? Mm. So wait, Aquarius? Aquarius Sun, yeah. Scorpio Moon, Taurus Rising. We share two, I really yeah. love that. Yeah, and then I've got that Scorpio. Yeah, but that's you need a little edge. I love it. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, my yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hate it but love it. No, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Embrace it. Yeah. Sorry, this is gonna be an hour long interview. I'm so sorry. I love being interviewed by you. I wish this was way longer. I could sit we here could happily do a, all day. We could go and we could go deep. Yeah, we could for if sure. We have more time. Yeah. You're someone's great to have a conversation with because you just feel like you don't you have to talk, you don't have to be like, and how's this and how's this? You're just like, let's get in there. Let's, let's go. Let's get in Let's there. get into the filling of the sandwich. Yeah. 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 So next time we'll do oh, the right. filling. Because today I feel like we did bread and... Bread and nice spreads. Nice spread. There was a lovely spread in like there. Like a bit of truffle mayo or something oh, like that. Truffle mayo. Yeah. 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 And next time we'll add some so meat. A little bit of meat in the sambo. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to Pop Buzz.